welcome to evening prayer for Thursday uh, and uh, I hope you've had a really good week so far. Let's ask the Lord to take us on a journey through the rest of our week. Let's pray that we have listening ears to the Spirit of God. And that we will learn to discern when it is that God is nudging us in a particular direction. And when it's just us going with our feelings. One thing I have asked of the Lord, this is what I seek. That I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. To behold the beauty of the Lord and to seek him in my place of prayer. My soul waits for the Lord, more than the watchman waits for the morning, more than the watchman waits for the morning. I will wait for the Lord, my soul waits, and in his word do I hope. Psalm 138 I will give thanks to you, O Lord, with my whole heart. Before the gods will I sing praise to you. I will bow down towards your holy temple and praise your name because of your love and faithfulness. For you have glorified your name and your word above all things. In the day that I called to you, you answered me and put a new strength in my soul. All the kings of the earth shall praise you, O Lord, for they have heard the words of your mouth. They shall sing of the ways of the Lord, that great is the glory of the Lord. Though the Lord be high, he watches over the lowly. As for the proud, he regards them from afar. I walk in the midst of trouble, you will preserve me. You will stretch forth your hand against the fury of my enemies. Your right hand will save me. The Lord shall make good his purpose forever. Your loving kindness, O Lord, endures forever. Forsake not the work of your hands. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be for ever. Amen. And so, our reading this evening is from Ezekiel, a most amazing prophet, not always easy to read and understand, but, but a very challenging ministry to a nation that had gone wrong. And this is from chapter 12, beginning at verse 17. The word of the Lord came to me. Mortal, eat your bread with quaking and drink your water with trembling and with fearfulness. And say to the people of the land, thus says the Lord concerning the inhabitants of Jerusalem in the land of Israel. They shall eat their bread with fearfulness and drink their water in dismay because their land shall be stripped of all it contains on account of the violence of those who live in it. The inhabited city shall be laid waste, and the land shall become a desolation. And you shall know that I am the Lord. The word of the Lord came to me, mortal what is this proverb of yours about the land of Israel, which says, The days are prolonged and every vision comes to nothing. Tell them, therefore, thus says the Lord God, I will put an end to this proverb and they shall use it no more as a proverb in Israel. But say to them, The days are near and the fulfilment of every vision. For there shall no longer be any false vision or flattering divination within the house of Israel. 
but I the Lord will speak the word that I speak and it will be fulfilled it will no longer be delayed but in your days a rebellious house I will speak the word and fulfill it says the Lord God the word of the Lord came to me mortal the house of Israel is saying the vision that he sees is for many years ahead. He prophesies for distant times. Therefore say to them, Thus says the Lord God, None of my words will be delayed any longer, but the word that I speak will be fulfilled, says the Lord God. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. You know, we like to think of the love and kindness of God, but that love has a sternness too. When people are trying to avoid what God says, God will bring them to account. I bind unto myself the name, the strong name of the Trinity. By invocation of the same, the three in one and one in three, of whom all nature has creation, eternal Father, Spirit, Word. Praise to the Lord of my salvation. Salvation is of Christ the Lord. Christ as a light, illumine and guide me. Christ as a shield, overshadow me. Christ under me. Christ my left and my right, this day be within and without me, lowly and meek, yet all-powerful. This night be within and without me, lowly and meek, yet all-powerful. With all authority, gentle in intimacy, Christ my identity. Christ be with me. Christ within me, Christ beside me, Christ before me, Christ beside me, Christ to win me, Christ to comfort and restore me, Christ beneath me, Christ above me, Christ in quiet, Christ in danger, Christ in hearts of all that love me, Christ in mouth of friend and stranger, this night be within and without me, lowly and meek, yet all-powerful. We pray for the United Nations that it may be an effective instrument of peace in the world. And we pray particularly for peace between warring nations and those who are sparring with each other and indulged indulging in standoffs of one kind or another. We particularly remember before the Lord the constant t tension in the Strait of Hormuz, the civil war in Libya, the ongoing strife in Syria, the disputes about the South China Sea, the effectual termination of democracy in Hong Kong, the issue internationally of nations seeking to hack into other nations in order to disrupt their democratic processes and to steal their secrets. Lord Jesus Christ, grant us grace to live peacefully within our borders and to love one another as you have loved us. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for leaders of nations that they may be given knowledge, wisdom and understanding in pursuit of the good of all their peoples, so that they may live in peace within their frontiers and with other nations. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for peoples displaced by war or persecution or poverty, that they may be given courage and find a hope a welcome and a future. 
Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We remember those who are especially on our hearts and minds this day. Heal the sick. Bring peace to the afflicted. Mend broken hearts and relationships. Bring guidance to the conflicted. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. special prayer for today. Merciful God, you have prepared for those who love you such good things as pass our understanding. Pour into our hearts such love towards you, that we, loving you in all things and above all things, may obtain your promises which exceed all that we can desire. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. As our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Now, may the peace of Christ go with you, wherever he may send you. May he guide you through the wilderness, protect you from the storm. May he bring you home rejoicing at the wonders he has shown you. May he bring you home rejoicing to your holy place of prayer. In the name of Jesus the Son and the power of the Holy Spirit, to the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.